we thought it'd be helpful for us to do a compression test video for you guys not only if you're buying a motor if you're working on a motor and dark troubleshooting it's always best to do a compression test first first thing you want to do is make sure the key is off you have to remove uh, one spark plug uh, and uh, always remember we're looking for even numbers uh, within 10% of another so if you're gonna write this down uh, and you want to number the spark the spark plugs or the cylinders this is the way they're numbered this all outwards are numbered this way one two three four five six so odd numbers on this side even numbers on this side and it's always backwards if you're if it's uh, right to left so the opposite way you read so and then you take one you can take one spark plug off and ideally you rig a, a uh, remote starter it's probably better not to crank it over with the key even though most pro people probably do that if you crank it with a key you and you take all the spark plugs out you have a spark you'll have spark on each cylinder and you can actually cause a fire it's also a good time to read the plugs, but these are brand new plugs, so we can't uh, read the plugs. We'll make another video on how to read the plugs. So this is the bad, this is actually a snap-on compression tester. Some people are still using the old pression compression tester. If you're desperate, that's the way to go, but the thread-in types are quite uh, handy. Another thing to remember is all compression testers read differently. So, we, that's why you never go by a number. You want to be even in case you uh, get some improper numbers. Now our weak compression tester, they'll, they'll all read weak. So as long as they're within 10%, we tell people, you're good to go. On a two stroke, it doesn't matter if the throttle bodies are open or closed. It doesn't make a di difference. It will make a little bit of difference, hot or cold. On a four stroke, you want to do a compression test, but you also want to do a leak down test. That's an entirely another video, but it's very important on four strokes to do a leak down test. So on this motor, it has an extra wire for the solenoid, so I can just jump the solenoid. We really don't have to videotape it. But. And then what you do is you crank it until the needle stops going up. There's a lot of information on the internet. Oh, do it for a minute, do it for 30 seconds. You watch the needle when it stops climbing, that's when you stop. So, you're probably looking at uh, probably 110. Thereabouts. So, we'll do another one. This will be number three. We'll keep it on one side or not. Now, if you do want to use the key switch, if you're not comfortable using a remote starter or you don't know how to bypass the solenoid like I just did, all motors have what's called a man overboard, the little clip that you take off, kills the motor. Remove that, you won't have spark, you won't cause a fire. Because you don't want to light yourself and the motor on fire. Wait, 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 about the same. Again, we're looking for within 10%, probably within 1%. And if you get a low number before you condemn the motor, it's been sitting a long time, fire it up, try it again, just in case. Sometimes one cylinder is a lot drier than the other and the rings are a little bit stuck. But before you go and I need a new motor, fire it up, shut her down, do it again. Sometimes they'll come back. Don't waste a lot of time. You also push a button, it releases the air pressure. that's it all nice and even again 
compression taste will vary not by just by the motor, strength of the starter, the strength of your battery, the quality of your compression tester. If you buy a cheap compression tester, expect it to run read 10 to 20% low. So it's not a good way to go cheap.